Without green hydrogen in the energy mix, we're not going to achieve net zero in any sensible timescale. My name is David Hodson. I'm Managing Director of TFP Hydrogen Products Limited. We're a company that specialises in advanced electrochemical materials, in particular materials that improve the energy efficiency and lifetime of green hydrogen generators. Conventionally, hydrogen is produced by reforming natural gas. That produces a large amount of CO2. Green hydrogen is hydrogen that's CO2 free at the point of generation. So it's used where we take renewable electricity and we use that to decompose water into its constituent components of hydrogen and oxygen. Green hydrogen is going to be a major element in supporting the decarbonisation plans right across the world and it's going to be a major impact on achieving net zero by 2050. Once formed, green hydrogen could be used for a whole range of things. It could be used to heat homes, it could be used for industrial fuel, it could be used for transport in cars, trains, buses and even aeroplanes. We have a suite of products which we can offer to the green hydrogen generator market. Uh, we have catalysts which operate on both the anode and cathode side producing oxygen and hydrogen at very high energy efficiencies. And we also have a range of coatings which we can use within the electrolyzer itself that go on a range of the components that sit inside there. Some of the really interesting challenges here is that because it's all about electricity, we need things that are both conductive and corrosion resistant. We're here in TFP Hydrogen's laboratories. This is where we develop and characterize the materials that we manufacture. Many of those materials are materials for use in green hydrogen, such as this. This is an iridium oxide based catalyst, which our customers use to produce green hydrogen in a cost effective and sustainable manner. It's pretty well established that climate change is already here and happening. We've got to use materials like green hydrogen, like solar PV, like offshore wind, to be able to address the whole energy challenge that we're facing. Green hydrogen has a real opportunity to make a paradigm shift in the way that we use energy in the way we move it around to help us achieve those net zero targets by 2050.